Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning June 8th, 2020. Now, I just came out of meditation. <laughs> just came out of meditation. There are so many things to talk about. Um, I, I don't script my videos, so please forgive any, um, you know, uh, <laughs> moments in trying to get all of this out. So this basically, let me just start very basic first, is us learning to anchor into our expanded consciousness. And a huge lesson that we're all going through right now is number one, disconnecting from sort of like untrue stories, right? We'll get into that. But also to develop our emotional intelligence. Okay. They're, they're saying that this is something that humans have really gotten away from. And that is your instinct about what to do in a certain situation. What is actually right, right, what's actually wrong. And this also will help inform, you know, your choices when it comes to people where it might be really easy to judge them from a surface level. So I'm gonna make up an example here. If somebody comes up and they're just screaming in your face, just screaming in your face, just screaming in your face, you might want to jump to conclusions and go, oh my gosh, that person's evil when in fact they might be having a post-traumatic stress disorder moment or um, something else has triggered them or, you know, they're, they're having a moment that they can't really control, okay? So that's just one example of how we're learning here. We're being asked to learn to not just look at the surface level and assume you know everything, okay? This gets sticky, hang with me, because I just sat online and watch the George Floyd Memorial. It's one of three. Uh, and you know, I watched it to the end and I was looking at the comments. I'm stunned. And I can't re really believe like how stupid I've always been because we do this, don't we? We, we have these moments, whether it's, you know, hearing a story about a black man being killed or about human trafficking or uh, you know a woman getting violated or a, a gay person getting killed you know I mean we hear these stories and then some of us who care get up and we get outraged and then pretty soon the story kind of fades and then especially white people we can curl back into our little story back into our life and go that was fixed right racism's gone right we're all good okay And then I saw the comments on this man's memorial. Wow. I'm so sorry. I won't go through all the comments. A lot of people were trying to pull attention and say, but what about us? But what about us? We didn't get to congregate like this. What about us? What about you? It's always about you. These are all white people. We're all white people. I've gotten comments going, Michelle, I can't believe that you're talking about this. <laughs> um, I'll get there. Other comments that I saw or have been seeing just kind of out there would be if anybody does talk about these things, they say, I don't like this. I'm uncomfortable with this. I don't want to think about this. When is this all going to be done? When is everything going to go back to normal? That's like saying, I want everything to go back to the good old days and people are usually talking about the 60s. Good for who? Who was having a good time then? Your sense of normal that maybe you want to get back to isn't safe for everybody. We have brothers and sisters out there who are getting killed. They're getting violated. There are children that are getting abused. And saying I'm uncomfortable with that is no longer good enough. It's never been good enough. I know, I'm not having some revelation here. So what can get us to stay on track with what our soul's purpose is? Being anchored in our consciousness. It's not always easy. I think there are a lot of practitioners out there who mean well and they're saying, hey, you know, don't, 
don't get dragged into the drama. Don't drag yourself down with that. Um, uh, it's tricky. Depends on what brain you're working with in any given moment, right? Because we all have our moments. Um, I, I've had my moments where I've seen those kinds of posts and I'm like, Are you serious? Like, don't tell people to turn their faces away just so they feel better. If you couldn't handle being human, you wouldn't be here, okay? <laughs> if you couldn't handle being an empath, you wouldn't be one, okay? You would have probably, I see, I can't talk today. You probably would have chosen a different assignment, okay? So there's a lot that we need to do to, when I say tap into a truth, there's a lot of healing that's gonna come from that. It's gonna take a long time. It's gonna be messy. And guys, this isn't it. This isn't it. Oh no, but I, I, I can't take any more. Well, then you better learn to surf, honey. You know, practice your pop-up and ride those waves because they're coming. What choice are you going to make? Are you gonna bob around in the sea and just hope everything's okay? Cause it's not gonna be, right? <laughs> or are you gonna learn to ride those waves? It's part of what your soul evolution is right now. It's all for all of us, right? And tapping into that truth makes us realize, oh, we aren't enemies. Oh, and that might even not hit people very well because there's so much pain. There's so much hurt. We're not enemies. The thing that we're standing against is evil. If we get into our emotional intelligence, we start to strengthen that then there will be this beautiful little alert system that goes off. And when you're in a life or death situation and the person that you thought of as your brother suddenly has exited and darkness has come in, that's no longer your brother. Your brother left. He's not there. Your true brother is on the ground, suffocating under someone's knee. He's the one you need to help. What's more, we need to stop this jumping to conclusions thing because I got your number. You don't know anything. I don't know anything. Turns out nobody knows anything. We're all figuring this out together as we go. I want to say once more, it's not all right to say, I don't like talking about this. So there's a way to balance this. All right. So again, I, I was talking about, you know, other spiritual practitioners that are putting very inspirational things out there and saying, don't get pulled down. I think, although it can kind of come off like they're not, like they're trying to skirt around what's happening. Um, I don't know that that's what they're doing. Okay. So I just want to lay that out there for you guys. Um, but I think this is sort of a soul triage kind of moment where we're you're seeing what's going on. You're not denying what's going on, but you connect into yourself. You can see the story as it's playing out. And here's the gift in that. If you get really good at it, we can start to discern where the story's going. Aha, I knew you would like that, right? Because <laughs> we, we love us some fortune telling. It's so fun, right? So we can see the trajectory, all right? Now, 2020, uh, if you have not figured out that 2020 is a miss, uh, but it's, it's going to, or it has the potential, let's say, to get us going in a good direction. From here on out, if you see one of your brothers and sisters out there who uh, is non-white, and you still have some judgment because they're not just like you, there's no going back. And to the black community out there, we love you. You are loved. You are so loved. Please, please don't give in to that story. And I'm sorry that we have been so distracted for so long. And I don't know what that was. I mean, because I knew it was there. I knew it was there. You know, I, I've heard everything. My audience, you know, I hear from you. And oh, we, we always look at that stuff. But then... We always just want to get back to normal. Stop making me feel uncomfortable. You better get used to it, like I said. Next up, human trafficking. Child abuse. Women getting treated with respect. 
Oh my God, are you trying to start problems? Start. They've always been there. They're still there. The problem is, and the thing I wanna alert you to, is that you cannot be in denial anymore. And it's okay, I think it's okay for us to say, you know, I, I don't know how that goes. A man is not going to understand what it is to be a woman, all right? A man is not gonna understand that some of the things, maybe that is just kind of common societal talk might be a little detrimental to women. White people, we've been really remiss. We've been absent. And we don't know, we don't know the history. We need to educate ourselves. And I'm doing that too. And I, it's so weird, cause I was like, well, I, I know this stuff. Of course I know this stuff. No, I don't know this stuff. Oh my, that, what? I didn't know that. Why not? People talk about it. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. But I'm here now. And I hope that that is helpful and I hope that that can be accepted. So what's to come? It's all that stuff that we already talked about. There were probably, I've been saying this for a very long time, watch July. And I, July, the, the month of July, I felt summer Okay, because you guys know I do a different kind of reading here. So I felt summer, um, thanks to my astrology people out there, <laughs> you let me know kind of what some of the aspects are for July. So it looks like it might peak in July. Um, for those of you out there who are sitting there going, now you're making me feel like a bad person because I want to hide from the bad stuff in the world. I don't want you to feel guilty. Don't do that. Okay, that's, that's not the thing. All right, get into your heart. Forgive those who need to be forgiven. Ask for forgiveness if you need forgiveness. Tap into the truth. The truth is in the consciousness. It's there. As I said before, we've never been enemies. We've been told that we're enemies. And that for the surface level story is where we start realizing as a common people, everybody joining through our hearts. How do we make being human better? Where is the reform? What is happening to somebody who's in a trauma profession? And any bit of psychiatric support is frowned upon. What then? Who pays the price for that? Don't think you know the story. There are so many nuances that are going to start, as I said, all the toxicity coming up to the surface. I'm a big fan of rehabilitation where possible. So while we're processing this story that's up here, you're connected into your expanded awareness, your expanded consciousness. You can rejuvenate yourself there and then come back in because you agreed to be a character in the story and here we are. These things that you hoped had gone away, they're not gone. They're not gone. We're in the middle of destruction. And I know the comments, if your mind immediately goes to, oh, but they are looting and the, the protesters are looting and they're, you know, breaking windows and da, 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 da. I don't know that's most protesters. I want us to be careful with what we think we know but we're in the middle of destruction. And when someone is falling with the structure, they're in a complete free fall. If you're someone who you're financially comfortable, you're in your fancy little house, you meditate, you do your yoga, and you look up at people who are falling and you go, it's gonna be okay, just remember, you know? <laughs> To, to not give in to the lower fear. Don't give in to that fear. It's going to be all right. All the while, you don't know what's going to happen to you when you hit the ground. And I think that that's where a lot of people are right now. And it's very convenient to some people who don't have to endure the things that some other people have to, 
it would be very convenient for some people who aren't experiencing all the things that other people are to just spew out <laughs> words of encouragement, feel good for the day, and then go on home. Back to my tea, right? I mean, we can't do that anymore. As I've been saying, it's all hands on deck. So we all have to be there for one another. And please understand that the destruction has to happen so that we can crack open, we can see what's going on, and we can heal. Think of somebody who's in surgery. It's not pleasant. It's not pleasant to have whatever you have to have done <laughs> within that surgery. But when you come on out, presumably you'll go through a healing process and then you'll be better for having gone through that. Please use the comments section, not for hate, uh, but for love, for support, for having your say. You are all welcome here. If you are working from a place of evil, I still send you a lot of love, but I'm not going to allow you to bring that evil to this platform. And um, fellow YouTubers, I encourage you to use your platforms. Use them for good. Especially if you're a spiritual practitioner, I know. Our branding is to always be peaceful, to be perfect, to be in that high frequency. You know, we agreed to be humans. We need to step up and be human while still understanding that this is a big part of our growth. People have been talking about the illness that had been going around for a while. And I'm getting this right here at the end <laughs> before we get onto the cards. So there's something around this to still be mindful, be careful, not just for a physical sense, but don't, don't try to just rush, rush through the lesson, right? That kept us from getting distracted. Been saying that for a while. It makes us face ourselves. It makes us look at what's going on and boom, here we go. And unfortunately, people are dying. Unfortunately, there are white people out there that still want to criminalize black people and say, yeah, but I know it's so sad. I'm not saying that the guy should have died, but you know, he did commit a crime or that woman. I mean, maybe she kind of was involved with this stuff, right? As long as you are willing to learn. Let's have some turnover here. Okay. Is this going to get solved overnight? Probably not. No. Are we going to be having a rough summer? Yeah, most likely. If you immediately went to, oh, and feeling sorry for yourself, knock it off. We all need to be in this together. We can't have energy vampires trying to like get us to run to you when nothing's going on for you except your little stress. The illness isn't just happening to you. Protests clogging up your city. It's not just an inconvenience for you. Who cares? I don't condone violence. I don't want anybody getting hurt. But we don't have room for people who are trying to play the distractor. We don't have room for people who want to come in and water down the argument. I say, get your phones out. Get your phones out, record, but don't abuse it. Don't abuse it. Don't be that person who is trying to start something and, you know, then you're like, I'm a victim. And, you know, don't abuse it because the more you do that, the less people will take other videos seriously. Can't have that. You know that. Again, nothing I'm saying here is revolutionary. Before we get onto the cards, I just want to say the time is here. It's now. We can do this with love. We can. But don't expect it to be quiet. Why does it have to be quiet? You don't listen when it's quiet. You forget when it's quiet. But we can have peace. We can have love. Break that truth open, guys. How wonderful is it when you get there to realize people have loved you all along. So let's get to the cards. I'm using the same decks. Yes. 
I have some new ones <laughs> that were sent to me. Uh, thank you so much, Damien. And um, I have them over there. I've just been trying to kind of keep up with things. By the way, I'm also behind on comments. I apologize. Um, oh, is that right? There's a card that flipped out. <laughs> um, I'm trying to catch up here, but I'm getting there. Anyway, so the card that flipped right out is Hidden Eye Gratitude. Do we? Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> gratitude. So what are we talking about here when we talk about gratitude? Because, it, you know, if we get mentally caught up in the third dimensional ego consciousness story, it looks like there's nothing to be grateful for. But are you alive? Do you have a roof over your head? Even if you sleep under the stars, can you find something to be grateful for? What I'm feeling right now is that as much as this seems awful, and it is awful, people getting sick, people getting killed, people feeling less than, that's awful. The break is coming. We have to break open if we're going to heal. So instead of trying to get the old arguments to, you know, kind of contriving them so they fit this narrative that you want to keep playing, instead of doing that, why don't you let go? Open your mind and your heart. Listen. Process. Do better. And have some gratitude that we're finally turning things around. It's not going to feel like that. I know, I know y'all are going to be like, <laughs> that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. We're not turning things around. Nothing has been messier. According to who? According to who? Because people out there have lived for centuries being more than inconvenienced. Here's the next card. Bocce stones, balance. This is that being connected into your expanded awareness, rejuvenating yourself and understanding you still have a human story to play out. This is what we're here for. This is what we came for, to come in, experiment with human emotions, the whole range of human emotions. And when the stories play out based on the energies that those emotions bring, can we clean up the mess? Can we find our way back to love? Can we find our way back to God? That's what you're doing right now. So if you go in kicking and screaming, come on. I know it's hard. It's not just happening to you. Everybody's learning something right now. Everybody is scared. That's why being balanced and connecting, anchoring in to that consciousness. Well, I'm going to keep talking about that. How do we do that? <laughs> Sorry, let's back up. Um, <laughs> making your health, you know, just like you would brush your teeth, make sure you're moving every day, make sure you're giving your body good food. That's a thing. If you get an upset tummy, you're not going to want to, you know, you don't care about anything. You're cranky anyway, right? Um, <laughs> and then, of course, doing your meditation. And I don't mean doing meditation so that you can manifest something. Or some people take the approach, I'm going uh, to meditate so that I can throw good energy out there. Okay, cool. But remember, even in a moment like that, a lot of times we're putting energy out onto a situation so that it looks the way that we think it should. Let me give an example. Let's break that down. we got protesters. Very, very current, right? So let's say that, you know, you're throwing good energy to the protesters so that they just calm down and go home. I ain't standing next to you because karma's gonna come for you. It might be a lightning bolt and I'm not standing next to you. <laughs> no way, because you're interfering. You're interfering. Now, if you get into your heart space and you say for the highest good of everyone involved, and that is implying, you know, for whatever this story is supposed to be right now, whatever the plan is, okay? I ask that positive energy and light be brought to everybody. Lay it down, see what happens. And let the universe work in the way that it needs to. Now, I know a lot of people love in their brains to go, well, are you saying, because I like to debate and I just like to find things to argue about, are you saying the universe is making this happen? 
we're making it happen, but the lessons have already been laid out. How we get there is a wild card. We are in charge of how we process. Now, if everybody could learn uh, the lessons peacefully, would we be here? No. But we didn't choose that. Collectively, we did not choose that. And so we have illness. And so we have strife. So we have prejudice and racism and sexism. Anti-gay sentiments. Human trafficking. What would the world be like without racism? Without hate in any form? What would that be like? Get into your heart. Get into that space. Feel it. Imagine it. And it can be created. Again, I'm not going to say that the gap is going to close overnight. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of healing. And for those of you who are still on the rat, rat, rat track of protesters are just loud and it's disruptive. Watch the footage. Before you say anything, watch the footage. But on an energetic level, anybody who has been traumatized in any way, and you can, you can apply this to just about any trauma, they always hit up on a pain body. There's anger that comes out. And then the healing can begin. These things must come to pass. Do not judge. Don't forget the people who are using their vehicles to plow through crowds. I saw a sickening Facebook post by a trucker who said, if you're a protester and you try to block my way, don't think that I won't use my truck. And we'll leave it there. It's sick. Yeah, but, but nothing. It's sick. Oh my God, you're defending the protesters. If you need to step aside, have a seat, think about how you do things, do it. If you need to go off and you think you don't want to be a part of this safe space anymore, go. I will not be part of being silent. I will not allow this to go unchecked. I don't have all the answers, but I'm trying. I want people to be safe here and I want them to feel loved. If you can't participate in that, as I said before, you can go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so we have Orpiment success. We are being successful right now. We are being successful right now, okay? doesn't feel like that. Remember, this whole lesson is to not just take everything at face value and go, oh, well, everything's a mess, so we fail. <laughs> we don't fail. We don't fail. We're going back and we're trying again. But we know that for real success to continue, we need to not fail our brothers and sisters. There are deep implications for that on a soul level. A little thing called karma, as we said, okay? So if we want success to keep going, we need to be there for one another, okay? Drop the judgment, drop the hate. And mostly, they keep talking about the narrative, the way people will twist things in their head because they just want to be right. They don't want to let go of their childhood. That's interesting, let's sit with this. Okay, so they don't want to let go of their childhood because of whatever conditioning, oh my God, you guys. Okay, whatever conditioning has happened for people like there's this feeling here that if that gets ripped away and they feel wrong, that they're, gonna, that they're then gonna feel like less of a human. That's weird, but um, hang with me. Let me just see if I can try to put this into words. Um, like somehow they'll be betraying their families by disagreeing with them. I mean, okay. Um, but mostly like a, a part of them, a part of their history, their personal history, their family history. There's a feeling here that, so what's coming up is that there is this thing where people don't wanna go back and remove some bit of teaching 
that maybe has cycled them around in hate or being self-centered and thinking about how they experience things and how only they experience things. And if they don't go through it, then it must not be real, okay? These people are so scared. They're so scared. They identify so much with their conditioning. It's like they'll be half of a person if it gets ripped away. And that's all we can say on that right now. Uh, I was waiting to see if they were gonna give some bit of like, how do we get through that? Again, they're saying process, it's a process. So little by little, step by step, connecting into your heart, connecting into the consciousness, your higher consciousness, your expanded consciousness, all right? And don't be afraid to change up your routine as well. There's gonna be a lot of edits in this video because I keep stumbling over my words. <laughs> uh. Okay, so our final card before we get on to the color card, I wanna thank you guys who you know, show your love and support because you know what is going to happen with this video. You know. Um, so thank you. All right. So the final card we have before we get on to the color card is black tourmaline protection. We need to protect one another. We need to be there for one another. Part of protecting one another is if you don't understand black history, read a book, listen to some scholars, Netflix is seeming to be a pretty good resource. Check it out. YouTube, just make sure your sources are credible, okay? But that's one way that we can contribute because as soon as we understand what people have gone through, then we can open our hearts and we can start to understand. There's a lot going on. We need each other. We need to be there for each other. Let's protect one another. This is also divine protection, okay? And black tourmaline is very grounding. We had the Baji stones balanced. Those are very grounding as well. And black tourmaline talks about absorbing the negativity and pulling it away. As I was saying, I was watching the George Floyd Memorial and I kind of touched on the comments and I was, I don't know if I said this before, but I was appalled that people were using this platform to try to just detract attention from the family and from what his death actually speaks to. Okay, um, watching those who are supposed to protect us, there needs to be reform. There needs to be reform. And yes, I know that there are good law enforcement people out there um, and as I said before, get into your emotional intelligence, have your instincts fed, okay? Because then you'll know what to do in a situation. This is not about, hang with me, it's not necessarily about energetically the, the people versus the police. This is us remembering that we have brothers and sisters everywhere and that there are sort of these false humans out there. And when I say false human, what I mean is someone who's let the good drain out of them, even if it's for a moment. Uh, you know, we see people say, oh, well, they lost themselves. They kind of, like they just went dead-eyed, right? That's when the darkness comes in and kicks out the light and now we don't have somebody who's coming from a good place. This is where evil comes in, right? And just takes over. We have to remember how to, yes, conserve our energy. I know we were talking about that, but we have to remember that that is where we're trying to reform. We don't have to look at all law enforcement and say, y'all are evil. And by the way, by the way, my love to the protesters and the law enforcement that are embracing, that are showing what you really want, that you want love, job guys yeah that's what we want I am so proud of my hometown because they've had nothing but peaceful protests why because the police chief and the mayor came out in support of what reform needs to happen they came out in support of that we could talk forever on this topic let's get a color card 
I swear I can pick up a card deck, I, just not today, okay? All right, so let's get the color card. Oh my gosh, dang it, was that out of frame? That was amazing, y'all see this? Flipped out. Hang with me. So the card is black, fine richness from the dark of night, the number is 28. I got chills, I have chills. That, we're in dark times but it's getting us to the light, okay? And it is the time for us to look at the black story, look at the black history. You'll be amazed if you're, if you're a white person, you'll be amazed at what you've been missing. But I wanna get another card here. There's one sticking out right here. Oh my gosh, okay. Listen, if you're watching this and you think cards are silly, there's a reason why I still use them, because one, they're fun, um, but two, there's always color, words have a frequency, and they never cease to amaze me. So this is, do you wanna see the card? <laughs> so I'm sitting here talking about it. Pink, let, love, and the number is four. If you're just joining me on, on this channel, it's a spiritual channel, we talk about angels, and four is considered an angel number. It's showing that the guardian angels are all around. So if you wanna call upon them for protection, to help you see, to help you understand, I'm going through the same process, right? So, um, you know, expanding yourself so that you can understand what somebody else's experience is, truly is, you'll be shocked. You think you knew, but you don't know, right? Let love in. All the moves that you take from here, let them be based in love. And look at this, this is higher heart chakra, Archangel Shamuel, type of energy. This is cutting through the nonsense and getting into that divine love. Look at this. I mean, are you kidding me? Look at this. Here's how we're seeing things. This is what needs to happen. What are you gonna choose? Keep me posted, let's keep this conversation going. Again, use the comments. I did explain earlier that I am getting a little behind on the comments, but I'm gonna catch up, I promise, okay? <laughs> so I feel like there's so much more that could be said. I love you guys. I love you, I love you. Hang in there. Remember, we have to go through this so that we can get to the healing. It's not just the world is falling apart and it's only gonna get worse and it's just going to be super uncomfortable this entire time. This is an important moment in all of human history. And I mean on a divine level too, all right? So remember your part, do what you can, have your say, do not be violent, okay? We don't want anybody else hurt. And we'll touch base next week, all right? I love you guys, be well, take care.